Hey you guys, I'm Ryan, Paul, Resell CMY. We buy stuff and resell it on eBay. Today, we're good. We're shipping out a bunch of stuff from Thursday, December 15th. Is that right? Yep. Thursday, December 15th, we sold 20 orders for $1,174.86. A lot of big items. So we're like, all right, we got to do this a video and video, make it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, before we get into all that, though, do you want to update them on all your shit? Yeah, I'll update you. We did sell 21 items. Just now we sold one of these uh, vintage Game Time Saddle ride things. It was $210 and yeah, some so change. That's another big they thing. haven't paid yet, but that could be in here, too. So that's another Probably, big thing. I'll we'll show you that on the next video. Yeah, the next video. If we do Because we got two of them. One's pre-boxed, and then we'll show you the one that's not. Yeah. So. But, uh, yeah, my cancer update, my cancer started growing again, which was crappy news. And uh, just a few of them started growing. The biggest one's a centimeter now. They just meet the threat. That one just meets the threshold being called cancer. So we caught it early enough with all these scans that they're not big. But That was last Thursday. Last Friday. Last Thursday, was it? I don't know. Last Thursday, you got I did chemo. chemo, yeah. Well, so Friday was, before I found yeah, out. Yeah, so it was two Fridays ago. Last Thursday, he had to do intense chemo. I'm doing chemo. intense chemo now forever. I'm terminal, so as long as I can take it, I can take breaks when I want. It's really, I, I dictate my own future with this, but uh, it was rough couple days, but it wasn't like too bad where it was unbearable. I mean, I can go in again Wednesday to do it, so. I think the worst day was Monday morning when his steroids wore off. Yeah, the steroids, they give you these <clears throat> steroids that uh, help really help with your feeling nauseated they fake your system to feeling great inside i don't really feel mentally great it's not like a high but they fake your system out to feeling okay and once they wear off you really feel what you're really feeling and you've been feeling yeah. the whole time and it was crappy monday monday he was texting me hey i can't even stop puking to get dressed so yeah. it's gonna take me a little bit so i think he came over at like 11 30 still or something. came over and shipped <laughs> yeah i did like a video that you guys might yeah. already seen and it was like 46 items or something so it didn't really slow me down at all because i do a bulk of the work yeah anyway, i mean so <laughs> no but that's I'm just here for moral support at that's this the news about that uh we didn't really i didn't want to put it in a youtube short or something like that i wanted to wait till we actually did another video and monday's video you were feeling like shit and you were yeah. at your house oh, yeah. so i didn't want to like just blurt it out yeah. then we but, are another thing we are on I think we're done with our pick in Rochester. Maybe one more time, Maybe but not a full load. Time. I know there's not a full load of stuff out there. But that's like our honey hole, and it's gone. So it's dried up. We've cleaned out, helped him clean out three houses. Helped him out tremendously with cash flow. And, uh, if we do another load, it'll be in the spring, most likely. Oh, yeah. So we're not going to do one for a while now. We're going to try to sell that's left. some of this stuff here. But yeah, if you guys have any other questions or want to say anything to Paul, just say it down in the yeah, chat. Yeah, leave in the comments. In, or the uh, chat, so, in the comments. Sometimes I hop on there through my own account, and you'll see Paul Smith on there, and uh, I'll I'll leave comments with you guys too if you guys ask questions. But as of right now, he's got to do chemo every two weeks. Yeah, every two unless weeks. he decides to take a break for a vacation or or my blood work doesn't allow. Yeah, that okay. happened last time I was doing intense chemo. You go in, do your blood work, white they blood push, cell count was down, and then they, they would push it, it like off a week, week or something. And they, the last one they pushed off like almost a full month before they could do it <clears> to me again. Yeah, but it just depends on your blood work and everything. I mean, chemo's dialed into you every time. It's not like everybody gets one Advil to cure a headache. Chemo's your chemo, and my chemo's your chemo's different from mine. Yeah. Your body weight, your blood work depends on it. It's your crazy. DNA, yeah, everything. But <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you guys want to know anything more about that, just ask Paul. He's not shy about sharing it, that's no, for I'll sure. No, I'll tell you guys anything. But, okay, let's get into the sales. It's sold. Like I said, 1174.80. We already had our GoPro uh, malfunction shut on down us. on us here. So, we'll start a new 20 orders going out as of now. We'll start here. We got the first one here is this Kool-Aid Man Sharpener. This one's purple. And this sold for eighteen dollars plus shipping. We sold a few of these. Yeah. And they, they take a while to sell, but anywhere between like fifteen and twenty five, twenty eight, something like that, depending on the color and who's buying it. But yeah, started it off with eighteen bucks. Next one, I'll let Ryan hold up there. It's next. Oh, to this him. one. This one's really cool. This is a Walt Disney uh, production story and songs by Robin Hood. This is a vinyl record. This is our more rare one. We sold another one that was red in color. Was, we were uh, selling that one pretty good. It was a Peter Pan one. It was like 20 yeah. bucks every time. But this one, brand new sealed. 
$95 plus shipping. 95 bucks for this thing. We're hoping that we, Have somewhere in the totes, there's, because there was always quantity from Dan's. But yeah, brand new sealed. So that was a great start to the to the day. And the next thing is Cheshire again. Right here we have this WDCC, Walt Disney Classics Collection. It's a Cheshire cat there. It's kind of hard to show, but. Uh, we have them with their boxes and pins and whatnot. These are loose ones. Yeah, we had separately. like four or five that the boxes were just yeah. roach. So I took them all out, made them all the exact same. So like one didn't have a pin and one did not. So I could do a quantity of like five. This one went out $15 plus shipping. I think there's like two or three more in this condition. Oh, yeah. And the next thing here is Snow White and the Seven big Dwarfs. Banger. Yeah, this is our biggest hitter right here. This one in my now is a Blu-ray brand new sealed, $10 free shipping. Those of you who have been uh, with us from the beginning, remember we did a big Marie Osmond doll by like literally hundreds and hundreds of dolls a for a thousand bucks or something. Uh, there's still some big ones like that. You just saw Paul hold up that big box. Uh, they weren't listed. They were up in my spare room. Yep. Uh, two days ago, I went up, grabbed a couple. That one is called Maria and Diane. It's like a doll that holds a doll. Adora Our Baby Bell is the name of it. It's going global shipping, too. It's crazy. The size of that box going global shipping, that's going to cost a lot. It was out of like 300 or something, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, it's rare. Yeah, $50 plus shipping on that Marie Osmond. And uh, there's probably like four or five, maybe six bigger box ones up there. I'm just going to grab like one or two a day and try to finish that deal off. But yeah, $50, though. That was awesome. Yeah, for a doll, still. This and is the even next more one awesome. Here, this is the biggest one of the day. This really is. This is uh this is Yadro retired figurine. This is the Fantasy Mermaid. This is Yadro number one four one four fourteen fourteen. This a uh, little uh, Fantasy Mermaid looking lady there. If you can see it. The mermaids were really expensive. We sold yeah. another one like a this week one ago was for sold on offer. I think we listed at three hundred for this little box, but it sold on offer two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Bada bing, bada boom, plus shipping. And I think a different mermaid sold for like 160 yeah. oh, 170 yeah. last week or yep. so. Okay, we got a little action figure. This is uh, 1978, oh. bless you. Thank Battlestar Galactica Daggett Muffet with tail. But about two-thirds of its tail. You can kind of see it there. Let me see. It only has like two of the little balls there. It's supposed to have a third. I gotta take this call if you don't mind. VA, let me just stop it completely. I don't even know where we were, but go ahead. I'm gonna start over on this uh, action figure here. Paul had a phone call from the VA real quick. Battlestar Galactica, Daggett, Muffet, with tail, 1978. Two thirds tail. And he just said two thirds tail, as if you could see here. It has like two little balls. There's supposed to be a third one. Um, this broke off a lot. People were selling them without the tail a bunch for. About half of what we got. We got $20 plus shipping on this still. Uh, if I had that, I think it was like $30, $35. Yeah. So it was like $10 every ball. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, good action figure sales. It's in the bottom of one of the totes from Dan's. This next one's pretty cool. This guy sent me a message yesterday wondering if this has been polished in any way or anything. I said no. This is Hall of Fame for Great Americans. The bronze little medallions there. We have a whole bunch of these. This is William... Tecumseh. Tecumseh. And this one was on sale at like $60, and the guy offered 50 to 50 bucks for it. Real money. All day long. Well. <laughs> Will you day. take 50 And I said immediately sent him the offer. Should have him with like 52 And uh, just to get he him. paid for it right away. So $50 plus shipping for this thing. Don't think all those uh, no, they don't. coins are that much. No. They're all like 10 to 20 typically. That one, for whatever reason, $50 bell. So... That's a great one. Yeah. Man, the sale, the, the good sales were just rolling in. Yeah, it was like awesome. Over and over. This one, please pack it carefully and carefully. Thanks. That's yeah. the message. Did I you see that? Please pack it carefully. Also, carefully. carefully. <laughs> Easter sweet treats dish by Lennox. I'm not taking it out, but see if you can. Looks like that. What is this? Just a dish? It's a little candy dish, yeah. For Easter. Yeah. So... 
plus shipping on this. You know, I'll just I wrote rare, yeah, home because I haven't seen that one on eBay yet, and I priced it up from Lennox Candy Dishes, which were eight to ten bucks. That one looked a little more ornate, fifteen bucks. I had nothing to go off from, and it sold. So, yeah, I'm and you had a it. message saying if you have any more yeah, of these, yeah, if I have any more, they somebody wants so one. Someone, so now, now they're twenty five dollars yeah, at least when I find it. This is a kind of a cool one. Paul's about to hold up. This is a marionette. This is Pink Panther. I'm not going to take them out and let all the strengths because I put them away perfectly. But uh, this is made in Mexico. It looks like it has that uh, Mexican garb on there. Those things. It's a marionette that you play with, Pink Panther. It's like wood, and this is like some sort of a, a almost like chalkware. It's not because I can see the chips in it, but the feet and the rest of it's wood. But uh, this sold twenty dollars plus shipping. This was just in the bottom of a dead bin that we had. That's definitely old too. It says seventies yeah. in the listing. So we went from marionette to majorette. All right. Nice. This is uh, number two four five SO tanker truck. Obviously brand new on its card. Thirteen dollars on offer plus shipping on this one. Again from Dan. This next one here is this nineteen ninety two exquisite Lennox holiday collector's plate. This is the rocking horse. This thing sold sealed like this new. Twenty dollars plus shipping. And if you see it in the screenshot, uh, Paul just basically sniped sniped a photo from somebody else that had it opened up. That just way one. we didn't have to open the band. So, but uh, Mac tonight, baby grand piano. If you've watched our channel at all, I'm sure you've seen this four or five times. It's a old McDonald's toy. It was in 1988. Uh, this one, however, did not work. If it worked, 30. it would be 25 to 30. Um, didn't work, still listed it, disclosed it, still sold for uh, $14 plus shipping for this little thing. Take it every time. Next one's this, uh, the Child, number 384 Funko Pop. These are cheap. We have a few left. This one, $3.99 plus shipping. Yeah, and honestly... I don't know how many of those we have left, but there's a few of them Yeah, there. the Funko Pops that are left that are all Jump. like 3 $4, we literally should just pull them out and sell them at a garage them. sale at $3. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this one's Artist. This is a Hallmark ornament. It's a Magic Light in Motion. Uh, Artist Favorites Children Express by Linda Sickman. I don't know. It's an ornament. <laughs> $9 plus shipping. We've sold anywhere between... 21 and 22,000 of these in the last yes. month. <laughs> 21, 22,000. Some, somewhere in between there. This next one here is this uh, 1994 annual edition Swarovski Crystal Inspiration Africa. This is the Kudu. We sold one yesterday also, same price. $80 plus shipping on those. We have two more left, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have one more that I have listed for quantity, and then and the then other one had like a little box damage, so I'm just going to relist it after. I might even do it at the same exact price because these are selling so good, but I just didn't want to have the crappy pictures for all of them. But yeah, those I needed to price right because everyone else was Sitting like... Sitting on them? Yeah, but the, I mean, they were selling for like 60 70 and then everyone's asking 90, 120, and stuff right. like that. So just found the sweet spot, obviously. This next one here, I'll show you guys. I'm holding it up here. So Yosemite Sam, 1993 Looney Tunes cookie this jar. New. Yeah, inside there, there's Their two box. other boxes that are around the hat part and his body. Uh, we sold this before for like 40, mm -hmm. but it was on sale. And then when I was going through the totes in the garage, I found another one. And I was like, oh, I'll bring this in. I'll just relist it. And uh, I relisted it. And we had it at like 60, I think. And then, but it sold at 40. So I listed it at 49.99. Sent out an offer for 46 and it sold for a little bit higher. So $46 plus shipping on that. Here's a, here's. Next another one, this is a pretty one. good one. This is uh, another Seiko watch. I don't know how many of this exact one we have, but hopefully a lot more. We have a lot of these, don't we? This Fantasia one. Yeah, but not all, only like two more listed because uh, we have to get batteries in some of the okay. other ones. So this is the hard to find Fantasia Sorcerer men's watch by Seiko. This one is, let me click on it here. I'll tell you the number of it. It's uh. Right S C S X Z seven eighty six right there on this one, but this one sold one hundred and sixty five dollars plus shipping. We've sold that I want to say three or four times already. Oh, at least yeah. So, and we have I know we have more for a fact. In fact, I found two more out in a tow in the garage last time when I was consolidating. Right. I'm not going to show you all these. 
A uh, lot of loose, like Matchbox car, Majorette, Hot Wheels, Corgi cars. Any Hot Wheels or anything. We didn't even look to see if there were red lines. We were literally just putting them in the totes as we would find them. Yeah. Fortunately, none of those were red lines. Or worth. You looked up some I looked of up them, every right? one of them almost. Yeah. And just lotted them up at auction. They only sold. There was 30 plus. I thought $20. it would go a little more. Yeah. I really thought it was going to go around 50 because I started them at 20 but it only ended up getting one, one bid, bid, 20 bucks. I'll See take it, out of here. And then we have one more little Last sale thing here. here. This is a Mad Cats Memory Cube 16 times memory card from Nintendo GameCube. And this actually sold $14 free shipping, so like a 10 bucks top there. Yeah. Uh, that's it for the sales. Super happy with those sales. Oh, yeah. We're already, before we ship these, we already got $22.50. For there next week. So uh, going into the weekend. So after we ship all this, there's not that many no. items here to ship. So we might have two grand left over. So we got to make like 1400 plus this weekend in order to take out three grand next week. Yeah. Which is our goal every week. So yeah. Yesterday really helped. Yeah. But uh, anything else you want to say? No, that's it. Yeah. Freaking. We'll try to keep Kids had a out. snow day today up here in New York. It oh, got yeah. pretty snowy last night. So the kids are upstairs. The dogs are up there. My daughter was pumped when she found out julia was home i told her julia was had school she was literally in tears she was hoping it was snow day wore pajamas really? inside out last night she's like i'm going to Did you play with julia tomorrow with you and i was like they have school because i canceled my daughter's school and then uh ryan said julia's staying home anyway and my kids was, had a two-hour delay she literally got, wasn't doing anything she got dressed on her own ready to roll shoes on i was like i guess we're leaving she wanted to come play yeah my uh my daughter wasn't gonna go to school anyway because they had some field trip that's uh uh, we live in New York, so they're trying to push a bunch of shit on the kids. So she was going to stay home from the field trip just to try to avoid some of their garbage. But uh, ended up with a two-hour delay, and I'm like, I'm not sending my kids to school yeah. after a two-hour delay. And they go to school for, they got to go out there in the elements and do all that stuff for to be at school for, what, three hours? It's stupid. If you're going to give do a two-hour delay, just give yeah. them a day off. But, uh, yeah, that's it, you guys. I don't think there's anything else to say. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, give Paul some love in the comments or ask some questions if you want to. And uh, we'll try to bring you more videos soon. All right, guys. Bye. Thanks. Say Resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said, please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.